And these are the buses and some of the qualities or features Ali I told you about. Um, this is a stop sign and whenever the bus breaks, this stop sign will alert in order for um, um, oncoming vehicle to know that yeah, this, this, bus is, um, this bus have now stopped. And as you can see, um, whilst the car is moving, the stop sign falls. These are some of the features um, that the bus, these buses have that um, uh, makes it unique from um, um, other buses um, with regards all of the other um, things I like um, uh, Joseph Sano here he is um, the head for Hill Salon um, he's been one of um, the pioneers of um, education what, what, what's your perception on the, the, the buses that are here so far 50 well for me this was something budgeted for a lot of people thought it will not come to reality because it is now here it means the government is thinking about the educational sector here. It means we have eased the burden of transportation on our students. It means students will no more suffer for transportation. They will, they will, not, they will not go home late. So for me, these are huge money. And these are not Chinese bars. Apart from that, these are new brand buses. But what is so important is how you manage those things. Because we don't want a process where they are manhandled, where they will, they will not take the useful economic year and they are destroyed. So that is where it is our duty as Syria Unions to educate the public uh, that this is only for school bus. This is only a school board. After school, it should not be used for another process. And to tell the students how to handle it well, the drivers and the other conductor how to handle it. We want to thank the president for this good developmental strike. It is historic. We want to thank the minister of finance for ensuring that these birds are here. Of course. Alpha Timbo, the man of the day. We want to thank him and the team of educational experts. We are so happy for this. Thank you, Ambassador. With me, first, firstly, how do you feel receiving 50 buses in yes, total? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, AYV. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Fritzal. Good morning, everywhere. Good morning, Sierra Leoneans. I'm very happy for this free quality school bus because even I am gaining from it and. Most of the times we used to have issues about the transportation, the traffic, but the government of Syria have made it easy for us so that we can be able to go to school freely and, uh, and we can be able to have the, the ability to go to school without having any issues. No. So I want to thank the government mm -hmm. and I want to say something to the government to continue to continue to push us and the, the pupils in Sierra Leone because this is a good work and, a, and also a blessing to Sierra Leone. I also want to um, advise my, my, my colleagues that they should continue to study, to read their notes, so that they can, ha they can be the future leader. So, in, so in, in, terms of, in terms of taking care of these buses, what do you have to say to um, some of your fellow pupils? Well, I'm advising them so that they will not touch anything that they should not touch in the buses. Because some things that, they, that, they, that maybe they will touch may cause an issue to the bus. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. Now we spoke with the Minister of Transportation and we're here um, again with him. Now we, we, we've converged at State House. What, 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 what's, um, what, what's your view so far on people's um, um, reception on the buses all the way from Jue to here? I think you have, you have been with us this morning from the key to Jue. You see the excitement of the people. Everybody is excited that this government is talking to government. When we say something, we deliver and we are delivering the 50 buses. So, after here, we will think of other means. What next for, for the school children? So, so, so uh, uh, from, from the transportation's point of view, uh, how long do you perceive these buses um, to, to, to last um, if taken care of well uh, 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 pro properly? No, definitely well, 10, 10 years. I will interject well, that well, for the minister well, I'm coming from the corporation. Definitely. You know, <laughs> the, again, the use, the lifespan of the vehicle depends on the, of the usage, how you, how you maintenance it. And we have only put a system in place that would maintain those vehicles according to how vehicles are supposed to be maintained. Okay. So, so let me bring in the corporation. Now, for, from the corporation's point of view, one thing is key, that is key is um, education, sensitization. How well will the comp um, corporation sensitize pupils or schools and teachers uh, on, on, on how to take care of these buses? Well, definitely we have, we have programs, we've planned them. Sooner or later, we're going to start rolling them out in the radio. But definitely we want discipline. For example, let's say you want to congregate from Ferry Junction onto Freetown. We're going to have all the students well programmed, well registered, well documented using a biometric card. So whenever they get 
get into the bus, their processes and programs will be definitely smooth. Yeah, thank you very much. And yeah. um, Jacob Jusufa. <laughs> no, no, no. Firstly, what's your perception on the 50 buses live. in town now, presently? I, I think that's if I, I think go that we deliver what we promised. So, what would be your message for parents, pupils, and the country in general? You use the buses, send your children to school, reduce your transport costs, and avoid lateness. Are, are we going to see more buses? Well, we see better conditions for the children. It could be more bosses, but in a different form. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the press secretary, Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandy. Um, just um, at the back of um, the government paying um, 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 uh, benefits to um, 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 uh, members of the All People's Congress Party that serve the government. Now we have bosses. What does this mean Co for communications um, at State House? Well, this is the talk and do president, talk and do government. We promise and then we are delivering. And it shows that um, this president is very compassionate about free education because he believes in it and he works to work for it for the best for this country. And that is why these buses are going to serve the kids of this country. It's not going to be whether SNAP kids or APC kids or PMDC kids or NGC kids. Pupils going to school from different parts of this country, from different tribes, and from who spread at different political parties. So it shows that free quality education is going to work because the president believes in it. We promise the boss that the boys are here. The, what, 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 what lifespan are you expecting for these buses? How, how, how long are we going to see them in the streets? Um, let, let me not grab no more money and see say them buses, they don't sell them, or they know they work again. Well, I will assure you, say, they're not going to, we're not going to get anything like what happened to the APC bus that we become. The force of them broke down, it's not going to happen. These buses, they have been tested and we know they are of good quality and then we think and we believe that the people that we can take care of them go take the best care of them because at the end of the day we have to stop the picking them for the benefits of the country. Thank you very much. Deputy Minister of um, Basic and Senior Secondary Education, you are live on AY Vima. Now first of all, let's have your perception on the 50 buses that have arrived. Oh, I think today is my birthday. <laughs> Seeing the reality and it is always the reality that our president is fulfilling for the children of Sierra Leone. I am so happy and I want to thank him very much. You can hear it from the children, you can hear it from the minister and uh, myself as the deputy. Today we'll sleep well because this has been a long-term dream that our children, especially during the rainy season, when schools are about to close in July, they have their exams. Now that the buses are here, they will use them in peace. And when schools reopen in September, then they just continue using them. What a gracious thing for us. Thank you, Mr. President. God bless you. Now, now as someone yourself, um, you attended um, school in Lonsa. Yeah. Now, I spoke earlier on with the Minister of um, Transport and Aviation, and he confirmed to everybody that these buses are not only going to be um, available in Freetown, but also in district headquarters in towns in, in, the, in the provinces. Um, what would this mean for pupils in, in, in the provinces? I'm telling you, some of them have to walk six miles. And this has solved their problem of walking along long distances to go to school and then going back home on hungry stomach, especially the secondary school pupils. I attended school in Lonsa, but I come from Putsloko. So I am so happy that this problem of transportation has been relieved from our heads. So I am so happy, I am so impressed this morning. So what will be your message to the pupils and parents going forward? Okay, for the pupils and parents, I want them to use the vehicles properly, the buses properly, and be on time at the bus stop. And then when going home again, they should be there on time and take care of the buses, not to spoil the seats. And for the parents, please guide your children to go to the bus spots early. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. Of course, that's the Deputy Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary Education. And we have here the coordinator for the free quality education. Now, this, this rests quietly on your shoulder. Yeah. Um, the, the, the Ministry of Transport has brought in these buses. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's now the responsibility of your, 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 your um, um, department to make sure that um, each and every student have access to these buses. What will be some of the procedures you use to make sure that um, these buses are, are available, readily available to all students across um, the country? Well, the buses are here. 
Now we're working on a mechanism to ensure that every district in this country has a bus so that children will have access to school. You know, the, 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 the objective of getting this bus is to help increase accessibility to schools. Because we know, even though education is free and we're working on improving the quality, uh, we know that even access in school is still a very big problem for a lot of children. In Freetown here, we see a lot of children stranded in the morning, you know, finding it difficult to go to school. After school, we see a lot of children walking to go home. After walking a few kilometers, how would you expect such children to study when they get home? So we believe that uh, it's going to improve when on uh, the accessibility to school and also on the children's ability to get home in time and study. So we're working on the, the modalities to ensure that the, bu the buses are properly catered for and that they are managed very, very well. Yeah, and that, that brings me to the next question. Now, the, the free quality education itself mm. is it's not no longer in, in, in the pilot stage. This is an initiative that yes. um, the government wants to see um, um, carry on. And these buses will aid to um, um, giving um, quality education. Mm. Uh, how long do you think these buses will take? We want these buses because these are, very, these are brand new buses. But every, uh, uh, if they are well managed, these are buses that can last for 10 years, I tell you, because they are of good quality and they are brand new. And if they are well managed, and we believe we're going to put mechanisms in place, uh, systems in place to ensure they are well managed, they can last 10 years. But we believe the government, uh, this is just uh, uh, a start. And we believe in the next couple of years, government uh, will provide additional buses to ensure that more children all over the country have easy access to school. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Yes. So, so, so what, 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 what what will be the message from um, the communications um, 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 unit at um, the Ministry of Communication we got these buses? Thank you very much. And of course, this is uh, um, another promise fulfilled by the president. And of course, you know, the issue of um, education is at the center of uh, our administration as a government and of course we have provided um, the quality free education we promise the people but we also want to ensure the free quality education is accessible and this this is the accessibility aspect of it you understand so you, you and i know um, that um, we have kids across the county that take you know um, um, like six kilometers up from their houses to their respective schools so this is an attempt to ensure that we help these kids have access to the free and quality education we've already provided them. So today is a historic day for our kids, you understand? And of course, if you take a look at the buses, they are also disability friendly. And of course, even if you are disabled, you are able to actually ensure that you have access to the buses. So it's another uh, promise fulfilled by the president. And of course, this is not, it doesn't have anything to do with politics. No matter where you are or where you come from, or no matter the region you belong to, you know, you have rights as a Australian to access them. Elba, Elba, um, previously we've seen buses come into the country and in, in huge amount, but then um, when it goes, when it comes to sharing, it, it, it's based on regional aspect, it's based on tribal aspect. Is that going to be different this time around? No, well, um, of course, you know, we have never predicated our developmental activities relating to the issue of tribal region, never. Since we took over governance, we have already ensured that whatever we are doing as a government, we even, even the um, state resources, we have been able to um, distribute it. If you look at the disbursement of uh, funds to local councils, you realize that we have never predicated our attention on the issue of region or, or, or tribe, you understand? So too also is going to be for the bosses. The only thing I will say to you is that Western area is going to have more because, of course, you know the uh, population, and of course we have more schools here. So I, I want to tell you that they are going to the, the distribution of the buses are going to be predicated on the number of schools, especially at district level, and of course also the number of population. So that is exactly what we are going to do to ensure that we evenly distribute these buses across the county. Now, in, in terms of sensitization, education-wise, now um, the, the problem over the years has been these buses will come in, and then the same people. The same students or the same citizens will damage these buses, for example, the seat. But thank God, this seat is, is a customized rubber one, sure. uh, except somebody used an axe to, 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 <laughs> to, to damage the seat. But, but definitely, in terms of um, taking care of these buses, um, we wouldn't want to see a scenario where we wake up one morning and we see students start spraying MOB on these buses and all that. What would be um, the, the ministry's responsibility to educate um, school going pupils on how to take care of these buses? Thank you very much. I think that is a very important one. Um, 
we took that into consideration, especially when we were doing the specifications on the purchase of these buses, you understand? So um, we learned a lot from the previous experience, and that's why, of course, as you rightly mentioned, they are customized, and of course, um, we want to appeal to parents. We also want to appeal to students, you understand? On behalf of us as a government, it's our responsibility to provide, you know, um, uh, the access. And this is an, is, a, is an access for the people to actually ensure that they are able to go to school devoid of the proximity of their homes to their schools. You understand? Different locations are going to be identified across the county and the pick up points back and forth, you understand, to, to the respective schools. So I think no matter how customized it is, if at all the student did not actually claim responsibility or want to own these buses, and of course, um, thereby complement in government efforts, it will be a fruitless endeavor altogether. So no matter how customized they are, no matter what we have done as a government, if the students did not actually own the buses, understand, so to say, they actually did not um, um, use blades to tear up the seat, and of course, like you rightly pointed out, use uh, these pan sprays to write MOB on the on the buses, and of course, uh, um, um, destroy the buses, I think, you know, that would be good for us. In terms of sensitization, of course, we've done that already, but we are still on it. We will cont we'll continue to conscientize the public and, of course, especially the student, for them to own these buses and, of course, take very good care of it because you know, the, the duration, the, the much it lasts, you know, for the much longer it lasts, I think the better it will be for the student. But it's going to be 100% for students across the country. And, of course, we want to ensure that we um, um, talk to the, uh, you know, the public also. There are phone no telephone numbers on the buses and, of course, you've seen them. And of course, they are actually also done in sequential means, sequentially from 01 to 050, you understand? So whosoever is a member of the public that sees a driver taking on board passengers or, you know, non-students or people, you understand? Let them call those numbers and of course, primitive measures will be taken against those persons, you understand? So we are going to put a holistic uh, um, measure in place to ensure that the you know the intended purpose, especially for the utilization of these buses, are met. Now, uh, finally, Elba, what, what um, assurance will you give to um, the audience out there that these buses are not going to be used when the SLPP has a convention? It, it, that has been the norm over the years. You see, school bus or, or public transportation meant for public consumption, and when they say we have um, a party convention or a party function, these buses are catted away in the provinces or other areas. What assurance will you give to people? Yeah, you are in a very good position to actually. Um, um, reference that because exactly this you know was what we, we used to see in the previous administration but let me assure you that we promised the people new direction and we are going to rule this county based on those campaign you know solemn and uh, solid campaign promises we are not going to do things as usual and of course we've seen that so to be rest, uh, to answer your questions nobody will have to use them for any private use other than the intended purpose okay so so, so we're not going to see them and go to an outing <laughs> no no <laughs> thank you very much from my back i have um, students here with me people from the annie walsh memorial secondary school i also have people from um, st joseph convent esto fidelis yeah. But um, earlier I told you on, um, that um, um, some, th th this bus has some features and let, let, let's, let, let, let me take you th um, through some of the features. Now firstly, we have um, a rubber plated chair as you can see here. It's plated with um, um, rubber uh, because um, for previous buses that have been into the country, um, students would take sharp instruments like razors to pierce through um, the fabric and then those seats will not take um, long, the wear out. So one of the features of this particular bus is that it has a rubber plated um, seat that cannot be damaged easily. Um, and also um, it has a hanger when, for example, if all of the seats are occupied, you have a hanger where some students or PPUs will stand and then will convey them to their respective um, destination. Another factor um, we spoke of earlier is um, um, the um, accessibility for these persons with disabilities. Um, this is um, the rack we spoke of earlier on and this is placed here and then it gives easy access to persons with disability and then another feature around here is um, the um, fire extinguisher which is available um, in each and every one of these vehicles and also if um, let's say for example my bus stop is at um, St. Joseph Convent and I want to come down I'll just press this stop sign to signal to um, the driver another for him to stop for me so there, 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 there's no way i'll say one 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 i want candong that's not the case again and you also have um 
a disability friendly button here to show that yes indeed um, a person's person with disability wants to come on or off the bus. These are some of the features and also it has um, a dustbin wherein you can place all the rubbish item and that's what is available here. So these are some of the features and in terms of the space I spoke of earlier of course it's basically spacious. I think you can see from the back there we have um, students sitting but um, I, I, I will now talk to them and sort um, the views of um, well these very very beautiful peoples of um, both St. Joseph Convent and Annie Walsh Memorial Secondary School. So firstly I want to know generally what's your perception generally sitting in the bus what's in the morning on right now? <laughs> <laughs> the AC. Well, of course, um, be, be, before coming on here, we spoke of um, the air condition. It's really, really cold inside here. I'm, I'm literally feeling cold. But, um, but on a whole, how do you feel having 50 buses for pupils um, to go to school? We feel awesome. Amazing. We are, really amazing. We are okay and we appreciate yeah. it, everything. We feel good. We want good. to tell Madabio thank you for the buses and the free education. Thank you through some of the features as well. And I spoke earlier of... Um, the LCD display that will um, be teaching um, students educational materials and this is um, just an example of um, some of the content that we'll be playing here um, and then um, we also have the driver seat and the driver seat we have um, the um, LCD screen for the driver that um, gives the driver an overview of everything that goes on in the, in the, in the vehicle, especially with the students, for them not to um, be, be, be mischievous and all that. And we still have another fire extinguisher here um, at the driver's seat. And of course, it's fully automatic. Um, this is the radio. Mm -hmm. um, this is a fully electronics. Um, uh, we're not like them other bus than previously. we be say the air system. It's all thing electronics. This is show the air. The breeze where the motor car get the amount of breeze. This they show the fuel with the inside the tank right now. This they show the battery. All length in the day. They show this now the oil and this now the temperature. Reps per minute. Everything is um, well uh, electronics. What in have your experience where you drive the bus from? Um, what are key to you? What some of it in and where you observe on the bus? Uh, the bus, first to start with the bus now, fully electronics bus. We be say we the driver himself. You the driver. You feel some amount of laxity like the previous buses. The more we drive before, the difference then great. Like the previous buses, the way we drive, the air system in a bar, you get where they show you this now fully electronics. We get indicator the way they read up and down, where they tell you what thing they happen with the air system, as well as the fuel and the battery system. All now electronics, now, now electronics way they show you, as well as the air condition system, now electronics way now so they show you all things electronics for the motor car actually. Thank you very much, His Excellency. It's a big that just matter, but he's now making his way up inside the bus. And that's, um, it's here from the students here and also Vice President Dr. Mohamed Jude Jalo. President um, Bio is now taking um, this driver's seat here as you can see. Uh, Soon start the vehicle and move it. And we're inside here in one of um, the 50 buses where President Julius Madabio has now moved um, the bus. And as you can see, that's the chair from the students in here. The president is driving the bus, and we are going down state. I can see from the back, students are very happy as the president is um, driving the vehicle himself. How do you feel driving kids? 
um, under your flagship program, free education. This is the most exciting thing. Um, this is a government about the people. This is a government about the people. It's about human capital. They are So how much impact or how far do you hope this will go? Well, what you want for do now for make sure say a pressure the gap between them. Yes. Then go able to come out school early and they will reach at their host so that some of the challenges we can get with the parents there in Ogode. We care about all the picking them, but we I mean we don't say the gap picking them more vulnerable in situation who side in the late night street in the evening. So we we'll make them today available for help them. So that they go able to go to school early and come out school early and go back to their home day so they go able to study. At the end of it all we want may affect the outcome. So we get for talk to the beginning them. But then some know say some of the things that we they not like when I for study, then do them. Because one of them is tell me say instead of I give them free education, make I make money they cheat and then they will not agree. We will give them all of this, but we will make sure that they study, so that we go get we go get a better future, not only for them all. Because if if they learn very well, then we will take care of we very well. What we don't all, what we then with vulnerable ages, they are actually the future. Everything what they do now, not only for ourselves, now for them and they are. So for give them all the support, and this is one of the support them. More buses for them. This is not just 50, sir. Uh, by the grace of God, where the economy, where the economy don't better, we will make them better more. We want for me to enjoy. Uh, school days are the best. Then forget that support. I swear not the world. Now, now, both they take them and bring them come back. We picking enough for we 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 not for we not we not for make do anything different from that. So, Mr. Okay. President, uh, normally we can get certain structures and then they need to take care of them. What thing will be your message to the picking them, particularly where this is not their own and how they hold up? Maintenance. Where they picking them for no say this is not their own property, yes, not a government property. This. If we not hold them fine, we are not cut. They sit there and we make sure they look fine. Say when I done when I school, when I know say when I get reliable service from the house to the school, from the school back to the house. So this really, not the government gets her again. Now when I get them, so when I go promise say when I go take good care, no so. Yes, and when I promise say when I go learn, no so. Yes, okay. Very Thank you very much, Mr. President, for talking to you. You're welcome. The PIO for the Ministry of Basic and Serious Education. Um, um, one key message that the President um, sent out to students but in terms of um, these buses is, is with maintenance, how they will take care of these buses. From the ministry's point of view, how will you implement that these buses are well taken care of? Well, obviously, first of all, the drivers would have to be trained specifically not just for driving the buses, but also for care and maintenance. Keep in mind that these are disabled friendly buses also. And so that also has to be communicated so people understand how to access the buses, especially for the disabled community. And then, of course, also. So for drivers, KK drivers and motor drivers, they also need to understand that when you see the stop sign, you should stop. That's a safety precaution. It's a safety measure. And so as a Minister of Education, we would be participating in that process to make sure that people are educated on how to access the bus and how to care for the bus. And the kids are also uh, uh, mandated to treat the buses just like you would treat your bedroom to make sure that it is always clean to make sure that it is maintained and taken care of. And of course, the drivers and the driver mates also have a responsibility to do the same. Now, 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 so, some of these messages might be easy to, tra um, to, to, to preach on, especially in Freetown, but in provincial areas like in Farage areas like um, um, Kono or Kailan or Kenema, how will you make sure that people understand these messages? So as a member of the communication unit of the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, we will be mobilizing that message across the country, not just for Freetown, so that everybody across the country will understand the relevance of these buses in the first place, that this is the first time this is happening in this country in the first place, and then secondly, that people should maintain these buses, because we have a culture of not maintaining things, and that has been the problem, and it's costing this nation a whole lot of money when that is not done. And that is what we would be communicating across the country so that people understand very clearly that this is what should happen. Thank you very much.
rebuilt or you expect more along the way? Oh, they expect more. We know they do things even at one stop event. Now it's a continuous process. The message to parents, pupils, them, and the school authority, them as well? Well, to the parents, they will have already appreciate the fact that uh, this is part of the duties of a government and then self now part of the government. Two, for tell them, begin them, for them, make sure they come at the street on time. Because we will not talk the specific case, we will say the start, we will say the pass this way for go. Because introducing bus system gets a potential also for making picking and late. You understand, if it's not properly structured. So all of these aspects will be done professionally. So for the parents then, when once they say this bus, they come on this end, 6.30, for making go able for meet up the last student and will go able for enter 8.30 in a class, and get for make sure she then position them, picking them for make the most go beat up them. Otherwise, the boss can left them. But all of this, not to minister business, and the, the technical group who are responsible, they are the to do the sensitization, the marketing of all of them, will take the responsibility of this one at the talk show. Picking and go pay for this boss? They get for pay a subsidized way, but that has to be determined for now. One quick one, Mr. Minister. Um, mm -hmm. We turn not to salon. What team you go to tell from you as way for make sure they then picking up line set and join the no, there are people in all and go benefit from this. As we say, this is not just the beginning. You know, we will make sure, see, in terms of distribution, they are going to be done judiciously, so that at the end of the day, there will be some equity and fairness. Uh, Mr. Minister, 50 bus there with the amount of students the way we get nationwide and people there. You feel say this bus enough? No, you know, enough. Not born at the beginning. No, and it's even AYV where they may start, not to look out and they so today them in time. No, so now a process of growth. But the only thing possible will be strategic. And that is what we are doing. You know, based on the resources will be available, the difficulties and the presidency, I need to start this. So this is not just the start of a process. And one will make sure the government you know, pursue this aspect here. So because picking them badly need this one also. Now, according to the president, one thing we raise up now that um, maintenance of them bus, they are very important. So for just call bus, um, do ceremony, picking and gladi, but how long the bus get for last with our intervention and with the technical team we get for take care. How many are you feel, say, with good care, them bus they are going to take? Well, uh, I believe, say, the technical people in that area will set up a maintenance regime we will make sure, say, them the bus shall last. Uh, my own personal opinion, I believe, say, once we left and for them picking them no more, they will take a long time. Eh? And uh, once it, it don't take the picking in the morning, then it waits for can't take them back in the evening. Me know say they are able to take over them five to ten years if they do them very well. I right? See. But we we get to collect the responsibility. We'll not can that side it. Thank God the schools and they can't close. And we'll get for all kind of modalities as against the midst of the, the so, opening so of school September. Like one have been put, put to rule with regards to them book then, say we pass in Poelam, or you know for Poelam safe in the first place. We'll get for C set of rules then for them boss there. Definitely. We'll get for, get for guidelines, you know, how then we'll make use of them and what you expect from the people's then, you know, especially when it comes to their use. Thank you very much, sir. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate you back here, for disseminating the information.